Hello there, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway again, and coming at you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and I thank you for watching today. Um, I'm back in my Salient OS Arch-based Linux system here, and um, today I want to talk about a little bit about databases, show you some things I've been doing uh, in creating a database and creating tables uh, within that database, and then accessing them using two different applications. One. PHP my admin and one called dbeaver. Um, this is uh, Arch Linux as I said and I want to show you a couple of things before we get started though. I want to show you my new look here on the uh, YouTube channel. If you recall what my uh, Linux Unix tech channel looked like before. Uh, in my browser I've got the dark theme turned on and I've got a new background here for my uh, YouTube channel. I kind of like this one a lot better than I had, and I uh, hope you do too. Um, and so I've got all my videos down below here uh, on this channel as well. And so I just, uh, you know, ask you to go on up there and take a look at my videos. I've got like 202 videos now, 401 subscribers. I really uh, appreciate the work that's that's been done by uh, people that I subscribe to and get getting my site promoted. So. Um, Really appreciate the help, guys, and uh, hope hope my content for you, the subscribers to my channel, I hope that's helping you out with things that you're doing. Uh, and today I want to talk about databases. Okay, so let me get over to this link and show you. This is where I downloaded the uh, platform that I needed to create my database and to work with my tables within that database. And this is the ApacheFriends.org website. Okay, it's a very nice website, by the way. Check it out. It's www.ApacheFriends.org. And uh, the thing that I grabbed here was this thing called Champ, which is X A M P P. It's pronounced Champ, um, and it stands for Cross Platform Apache MariaDB PHP and Perl. All right. Uh, it's pr probably the most popular PHP development environment going right now. Uh, I've, I've got it installed here in Arch Linux, and I'll show you what I did. Uh, I went up and here on this link and downloaded for Linux the 7.3.2 version, which is incorporating PHP version 7.3.2 into this cross-platform um, uh, platform that I have, uh, then I'll show you here. And when I uh, downloaded it, it was downloaded as a tar GZ, and I then unzipped the file and then uh, installed the tarball, and it installed it out onto the uh, opt opt directory, okay, in Linux, and then I created an alias um, to Champ so that I could uh, install it or load it rather easily, launch it easily. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me get into the terminal. And let me bring this up to full screen. And let me go ahead and bump that up so we can see what we're doing. And um, clear the screen here. So the alias that I created was champ, XAMPP. So I hit the enter key. It's prompting me for my password. Let me go ahead and put that in. All right. And it's bringing up this platform right here, which is the Champ 7.3.1-0 interface um, for Champ. All right. If I click on this tab right here called Manage Servers, you can see we have three servers here. They're all stopped at the moment. One is an Apache web server. We're going to need that in order to access the console <clears throat> to get into PHP My Admin uh, to create that database and to create the table within that. Uh, there's another server I'm not going to use. It's called Pro FTP Daemon Server. That's for a professional FTP file transfer protocol. I'm not going to use that one, but it's there. And then here's another one that we will use, and that's the MySQL, and that's the uh, uh, personal version of the sequential query language database server. Okay, that we need to have operating up and running in order to uh, work with the uh, the database and the tables that we're going to be working with. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start the Apache web server. So I click the start button over here. While this is starting, I'm going to come up and click on the MySQL database or MySQL. Go ahead and start that as well. 
Now it takes a few seconds for the Apache web server to start up. It's now running and also the MySQL server is running. So I can go ahead and minimize, not close, but minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this as well and get back to the desktop. All right, and then I'm going to go out on the web. Uh, this is the Apache Friends website. To access the console, however, to get into PHP My Admin, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, a link here, my Firefox web browser. I've already got a, uh, a, a service set up here called Servers in my uh, Quick Dial. And then I've got uh, this one set up here called Welcome to Champs. I'm going to click on that. And what that does is that takes us out to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8384. Okay. The first time you access this, it's going to tell you that your certificate uh, is not valid. And it's you just need to go pass through it and uh, tell it's okay. You know, you trust it. And... Uh, have it permanently uh, put that certificate as the root here of your uh, Firefox web browser and then the next time you access it you won't get that prompt for uh, a bad certificate. Uh, that's normal uh, but it's all locally running so it's not a security breach of any kind or a concern because you're you're doing this all locally here on your system and so uh, I've got Apache 2 web server configured so that it goes immediately to the dashboard. And so here we are. We're in localhost forward slash dashboard of the Apache uh, Maria or MariaDB PHP Perl web page. It looks similar to the one on Apache Friends, okay? But this is being locally run, being locally hosted by my Linux system here. There is a link out here called PHP My Admin. Let me go ahead and click on it. And that's going to automatically um, log us in. Root is the password, or I mean the username. There is no password. And again, this is all locally hosted, so it's not a security concern. Uh, but we're now in PHP My Admin. Now, what is PHP My Admin if you've never heard of it? PHP My Admin is an administrative console for the MySQL interface in Champ, okay, and it's written in PHP and that's why it's called PHP My Admin. We're going to create a database and then we're going to create a table underneath that database uh, using PHP My Admin and then we're going to go out and use another utility that I've installed in Arch Linux called dBeaver. We're going to access um, that database and table using dBeaver as well. All right, so let's click on the database tab here, and let's create that database. So let's go ahead, in this box, I'm going to type in the word test. All right, and so our database is going to be called test. I'm going to go ahead and create it, so I'm going to click the create button. And we've created our first database. All right, so here it is. Let me go ahead and click on it here. And so this is the test database that we're in server localhost database test all right I'm going to create a table underneath that and to do that here's the create table interface and so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to call this table experimental okay we'll go ahead here and click the go button to create that table all right and so we've got our table created uh, and we can We've got, by default, we have four columns, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, just call these column one. And we're going to call column one. Uh, we're going to put in variable character as the uh, type. We're going to give it a length of 20, all right? The second column of the, we don't have to have four, I'm just leaving it by default the way it is. Column 2. Okay. I'm going to let that be an integer and I'm going to give that a length of 5. I'm going to call the third one I'm just click in there. We're going to call that column 3. And we're going to say that that is another variable character. 
length and uh, length of 20 and then column 4 and we're going to call that a varchar as well for variable character uh, that's the type of data that's going to go in there and then length of 20 as well all right now we're going to go ahead and save that table call click save all right so we've got our first table created this is the structure for that table under the brow under the structure rather tab this is what the structure looks like if we click browse button or tab it's going to take us out so we can look at a browsing to look at its actual the values that might be in there we don't have any values in there and I'm not going to put any in there today I just want to show you that uh, we can create the table we can create the database that contains the table all right and so uh, you can pretty much put anything you want to in this table it can be customer data it can be um, you know a uh, a database that contains uh, a table of your inventory of uh, songs and music for instance or could be a photography uh, database with the uh, test database with a photography uh, table in there as well you can have more than one table too by the way you can add another table you can relate those tables together uh, I'm going to save that for a future video right now I just want to stick with the one database and the one table here all right, so now that we've done that, we're in PHP My Admin. Let's go out of that. Let's go back to the desktop. And then I want to fire up another uh, application that I installed. I installed that, by the way, using um, the Whisker menu and went down to Settings and across to Add Remove Software. And um, clicked on this. Uh, uh, magnifying glass here for search and it's called dbeaver and there it is so it's dbeaver it's a free universal SQL client for developers and database administrators and you I just clicked in this box and then clicked install and it's already been installed so it's blue so that means it's already there uh, and so I'm not gonna install it again but that's how I did it all right uh, you can go up on the DV Beaver website and you can download the source and you can compile it through Arch if you want to do that. I just went ahead and used the program because it's easier to do that for now. All right, so here's the icon. Uh, let's go ahead and in the panel and let's click that button. And this is the Community Edition Free Universal Database Manager called DBeaver. And uh, DBeaver requires that you set up a connection to access the database. I'm going to access an existing database here. This is version 5.3.2 of dBeaver. And when it comes up, I'll show you how we do that. Okay. Um, it's coming up now. I don't have any connections in here, so it says collect it says select a new connection type. So I want to come down the list, and this is a MySQL server, so that's what I want to use. And so I'm going to tell it to use generic MySQL all right then click next and it may require you to download and install some type of connection like uh, JDBC or something similar Java of some kind I've already done that here so it didn't prompt me for that uh, but you know if you see that when you're installing yours go ahead and just follow the prompts and you'll be okay all right so the server host here is localhost Remember that out on the website we were using the local host here. The port for connecting to the database is 3306. If you recall, I call that database test. All right. And then if you also recall, I told you that the username was root and there was no password here associated with it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click finish here. And we should get connected to the database. It looks like we have been connected to the database. I'm going to down arrow and it's loading now. Uh, here's the database. Here's users, administrator, uh, system information, etc. Let's get under database. Uh, here is the test database that I installed under PHP My Admin, if you remember. And then I'm going to open that arrow up down there and click in the down arrow for tables. And there's my experimental table. Okay, so what I'm doing here in dBeaver, if 
5.3.2 is I'm accessing a remote database created by another application called PHP My Admin, uh, and I'm accessing it via dBeaver, which is a free database manager. Okay, if I click on the experimental tab here, um, it should pop open here. It's taking a few seconds to open up. Here we go. All right, so here's the experimental table. All right, and here's the structure of that table. All right, so we have accessed the uh, the database and the table that I created in another environment altogether, but it's locally hosted, running on an Apache web server and a PHP or a MySQL rather uh, server that is serving up this database and table, so that dBeaver could access it on the local host. All right. And so we could get in here. I'm not going to do it this time in this video, but I'll do it in a future video. We could get in here. We could add data to this uh, table. And when I do run a future video, I'll create another table and I'll put real data in it. And I'll have real column names instead of just column one, two, three, four. All I wanted to do today was show you that you can access uh, a database and a table created under that database that was created using one application. And then you can go out and you can use another application, a database manager, to access the actual, the same um, database itself and work with it. Okay, and you can go back and forth. All right, so this has been a video showing you database management using PHP MyAdmin and dBeaver in Arch Linux. And you have a nice day.